we spend a lot of time talking to all kids about college. I sort of referenced this before. And the fact is, 75% of adult Americans don't go to college. Right? 25% of the population goes to college. And of the 25% that go, 50% of that 100% finish, right? So we spend so much time saying to our young men, um, you're gonna go to college, that's why you go to that's why you go to school. And when you have an adolescent brain, just so you know, the frontal lobes and the adolescent brain are about this big, not the size of walnuts. They don't finish growing until they're in their mid-20s, right? That's right, that's right. So, so they're not making the best decisions, and we're trying to say to them, delay gratification. You know, you know I'm in the seventh grade, you talk to me, I'm going to college. If that's the outcome, you know, I see this guy throwing the basketball, you know, or doing 180s, and he's making millions of dollars, and you're telling me, we got wow. dreams, we got all these other kind of dreams, but we have to make those educational um, notions more concrete, more real, right. and not always talk about college. Right. So I want to think with you about how do we change their view of education, and how do you do that at home? Mm. How do you start talking about that at home so that they see that as part of the power that they have, mm. that they become committed to education in a way that they believe it will give me what I want sooner than later. Mm -hmm.